Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. Today we're gonna run another map in the hopes of finding another map trial. And what we're gonna run today is a Mud Geyser map. It's tier 3, 20% quality and a rare. 24% more rare monsters because they all have Nemesis mods. Players recover less life, mana and energy shield, 20% less. Monsters have 40% a cold resistance, so that's gonna be fun. They also gain a frenzy charge every 20 seconds and the unique has more life and increased area of effect. So I think we're gonna have quite a lot of fun here. Let's go for it. And for the mod geyser, the steam powered portal seemed appropriate. So let's go for that. This seems a bit like the that cave early on in Act 1 with the Necromancer in it. It's elemental Reflect. So, ooh, Overgrown Shrine, that's tier 4. That's a good way to start. Also having them Resist cold does mean I have to be a bit more conscious about actually casting my frostbite where possible. And frost popping all the things of course. And that is something, another map drop. Well we get 92% more items and almost 40% more quality. So that's good. Okay, so let's just keep tracing the outlines first. Fractured, that's one of my favorite mods. So it's because we are facing large numbers, we might as well just summon the army of the undead. Add a little bit more distractions to the mix. Ew. So they are gathering quite some frenzy charges. Not quite sure if they also have a, a limit or if they have unlimited frenzy charges that can stack. Or if it's something ridiculous like 10 charges or something. Is they attack faster, but they also deal more damage with the frenzy charges. That that starts to stack at some point. On the other hand, it keeps things interesting. Ooh. Definitely trying to keep the frostbite up, but. Pretty tricky with a defensive aura going on as well. It's pretty hard to see them until you're basically on top of them. We got the gambler. Oh, you get just get another divination card. No, presumably it is a, uh, a way to get cards that you normally can't get without going to very specific uh, locations. Oh, the gambler does have its place. And am I just walking along an inner lake rather than the outside of the map? I think so. Uh, stop mobbing me. Wow, two more maps. It's raining maps. Wait, that's a firestorm. Who dropped the firestorm? Ah. That was not a firestorm, that was a blast ring. It's almost the same, but. Yeah, see, this is just uh, the lake that we're tracing. So presumably, this is just gonna be a. Uh, large squarish map with the lake at the center and everything just surrounding it
Yes, keep casting the frostbite. No, even at the edges of the screen. Just to keep them actually frostbitten. Right. Mostly done tracing the outlines here and we actually found an edge. They, they hurt. And come on, die, die, die. Yes. All right, we found our wall. Let's stick to the wall in the other direction. There's the blast rainer again. Yeah, well, at least if we curse them, we pierce their resistances because this does reduce their resist by 41, which is enough to take a 40 to a negatives. Doesn't really work on mobs that have inherent resistances, of course. Or that are resistant to curses. But it will help anyway. I still have yet to encounter a elemental reflection map. I'm very curious to see if that's something that uh, can be dealt with or if that's just gonna be suicide. Once you get them going, the enemies really do just keep shattering like glass. Ooh, hexproof, that's a annoying bugger, but doesn't mean freezeproof. Ah, this entire pack is for hexproof, of course. Oh, golem. Gotta resummon that one. Murder boots, uh, I think I actually want those. So I think I got some item level 69s and these are 71 and they've got four sockets, so that, that's good. Anything we can do with this? Yeah. Oh, we can actually uh, chance it. Let's get out, let's focus on enemies rather than on the chest. It would be kind of annoying to die while trying to upgrade. Strong box. At least I would feel silly about it. Hey, you, chance orb. Strong box. Random curse and three additional magic items. Ugh, I don't really want magic items, so let's. Items have two additional socks and it ignites me. I, I can live with that. I can perfectly live with that. Pick up a couple more items, hide things, and then let's uh, summon the army. Uh, just frostbite a couple, and then we mow over them. Like they are not really resisting in any meaningful way. And that's the last one. And then I think we have to make our first town stop since we're pretty full. Look at how much stuff we're getting and this is just uh, the first pass. One, two, three, four maps in total. I haven't even seen the boss yet. At least I don't remember consciously having seen a boss. The old boss might have been there, might have just been mixed in, but usually bosses are impressive enough that you, you notice them. Proxy bubble needs to go indoors. Okay, you. Let's actually regenerate our energy shield a little bit. Yes. Okay. So you are a soul conduit. Oh, 
Yeah, of course. They come back with apparitions. Oh, that is an elemental reflect that I have to get close to. That's interesting. But that didn't really help him. That's just a standalone rock. More scrolls, yay. Never ever have enough scrolls. Okay. And there is a skull beak, the robot. Okay, here, have a golem or something. Frostbite you. Okay, if you don't want my golem, I'll just give you an army. Stop better. Yeah, that works better. I have to keep the frost bomb up. And um, basically the ranges I want to engage him, I will always just infect him with Enfeeble. I really have to go to the edge of the screen in order to not have him be affected by Enfeeble. Oof, he hurts. Really hurts. Haha, uh -huh, miss me. Yeah. Well, actually, it was, was, it was in cursing range. Also, ate my golem again. Yes, and there it was. So, this was a trickier one. I might actually want to start looking at something like a, a decoy totem. Just to position my enemies without having to rely on the, well, the chaotic mess that is the golem. Okay, we still have a lot of enemies remaining, so there will be more. And of course we're still hoping for the, what's it, uh, what's it called? It's Ryle. Yes. Oh, there's more. Just low level stuff. Probably wanna actually show those as well. But. Rockbreaker is useful. Since I am consistently upgrading maps to rare now for these runs. You do chew through things quite fast. Okay, maybe we should actually walk a little bit. Oh, Sana in the map. Cool. So, as I was gonna say, maybe we should actually look into zigging and zagging a little bit. So, into all airs, that's always fun. Oh, but I'm very, very dodgy. They are pretty slow to attack, so the energy shield does have a lot of opportunities to regenerate itself. It's really fast attacking enemies that might even know, especially once they are then frenzied on top. Those are the more annoying ones, since your energy shield it needs some uninterrupted time to actually start uh, recharging itself. But already we can do it like that. Yeah, yeah. So another toss up. Well, with maps, it's pretty easy. Do we have some space left? Yes, we just flip these around. Two portals remaining after this. And 
let's see, maybe the, a lot of rares here, we are bound to drive him into something interesting. And of course this is going to be the only section of the map that actually doesn't have a rare. Typical. They really like to kill the golem though. Zana, how are you today? Find the unique. I'm not going to complain about that. So that's going to be uh, a tier 4 equivalent. It's always plus one, right? Yeah, so this is going to be a tier 4 equivalent. Shipyard is docks equivalent. Hello there, young driver. So I should probably have a quick look at what mods they have here, so I don't get caught unaware by them. Didn't help you, buddy. Didn't help you. Right, so what are we up against? Four additional rogue exiles. Monsters poison on hit. Uh, we get some extra quantity uh, the reality. So this is this is well as a blue map. Uh, poison on the hit, sure. And uh, four additional rogue exiles. We killed one already, so that le at least three remaining. And if there were native spawns, then we get even more. Hello there, Damoy Tui. Also, almost there at summoning an army. So maybe if we kill some of the extra spawns, it's easier to keep him in place. No, wait, he's actually he's a cycloner, right? That's cycloners are tricky to deal with, of course, with the group since he will just mow down all the skeletons at once. Then there are only two remaining. A two down, two to go. There's a big elemental reflector in there. Just because, let's frostbite them to make it even more impactful. Okay. That's the problem. Just hitting them, especially when there's obstacles. Yes, okay, a golem. Keep him in place. Yes, frostbite works. Okay, keep him there. Good. Okay. He didn't drop anything worthwhile. Let's see. Ooh, you. Bringer of belts. Let's curse you. And then we'll deal with your buddies. Not too tricky since they're just summoned things. They don't really have that much life. So I'm feeling slowed by someone. See frost arches, isn't it? Sliding arches. Okay, almost. Golem is looking a little green. It's all the poison. Well, everything attacks the golem, so the poison starts to stack at some point. Let's resummon it preemptively. Okay, we found a corner. So I wonder if additional, if in addition to Zana, you can also get a trial, or if. The trial takes the, the same slot, so to say, as a, a master encounter would. Also, there is Armios Bell, who is firmly 
enthralled by my enfeeble aura. Which, oh, in the end it was enough. Thing is, we are almost level up, which means we will complete our current skill point goal of going for Fingers of Frost, after which I really want to grab Whispers of Doom, just to make a dual cursing a possibility, since then I can actually just cast the, uh, the Frostbite on things that need it. And then whenever things get close, they also get cursed with Enfeeble. But at least I got the best of both worlds then. Rather than not being able to, to offensively curse the things I want. Which, especially on maps with, with where monsters have more cold resistance. It's kind of a necessity to do the offensive cursing, otherwise it just takes so much longer. So, or, uh, it's not a necessity then, right? It's more of a, a very important quality of life bonus. Okay. You guys just keep streaming in, which is okay. Bunch of golems. There was something shiny up there. Ah, just a yellow. Vulnerable to curl cold. Yes, I am providing that service. So I am curious now what boss is going to be here. Since often bosses are not thematically tied to their area. Means something like a... Uh, Fairgraves would actually be relevant, but he is in... another watery map. Hey, we have a... Is that a trial? In a Xana map? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, let's, let's see if this is just a, a weird hiccup. Okay, this is just a weird hiccup. It will, however, cost us a portal, which is annoying. Um, so let, let's be smart about this. Let's actually... Empty my pockets completely so I don't have to go back. Right. Also, we resummon all the things. And that one. Yes. Hey, Mud Geyser, go. Complete the mission. Yes. Because up here, Sana has multiple portals. So, the server that these instances are running on has issues. That's annoying. So, we literally can't do it. Let's give this some time. Since there's more than 50 monsters remaining, we'll actually finish this. And then after that, we go back to Zana. It's uh, getting a little convoluted, but hey, keeps things interesting, right? So here we're just tracing the outlines still. It is packs like these with these crustacean snipers. It really is easy to get 50 mobs in like two or three packs.
Okay. Oh, another chest. Some boas. Zombies are easy since we can curse them and they're not gonna approach us really quickly. I mean, these are slow zombies. Dropping that. Bye bye. Hey. You guys. a bunch what are you doing chaos damage fun and you resist elemental damage of course why wouldn't you you know what summon the army of the damned and drive them back into the sea It was a rare at some point, but it's gone now. Presumably killed by my minions. And you as well. Bye bye. Zero monsters remain. Okay, that was the final one. Okay, so let's go back to Zana and try to get in. Oh, which next? And if that fails, then, well, it ends here. And if not, then we have the opportunity to see if that trial in there is also a new one. <sighs> okay. Well. And finally. Boo. Ban a mission. I'm sorry, Jana. Service didn't allow me. How may I be of but, yeah. So that was the Mud Kaiser. Ended in a slightly less satisfactory manner, but things like this happen. Well, I have to say, it's my first time that I had a map in a map actually have some issues where part of the thing worked and part of the thing didn't. But nature of online games, something sometimes this happen. So. Let's hope next time is gonna be better. So for now, thank you for watching.